The fact that I'm waiting this long for it to load is killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. Then again, this is like my biggest plot in terms of data size that I have, right? Yeah, it is. Hello guys, welcome back. It is Jay Jossness and today we are in the city. If you haven't checked out my previous tips and tours videos, you see that we made uh, the hotel, the apartment, and the cafe, all with like their individual videos. So yeah, uh, go check them out. Anyways, this video is not even about those. It is about the Bloxburg Mall, which we have just created. And this is how it looks at nighttime and it looks quite, quite majestic. So this mall wasn't planned to be a skyscraper because most malls aren't really a skyscraper. This mall was planned to be basically like a long building width but still pretty tall. So it's three stories tall and yeah it has a lot of stores in it and I can't wait to tour this. So we'll check out the exterior once it's daytime because it is nighttime right now but we could definitely go ahead into the interior. So if we make our way through here, you could see into the, like the revolving door, make our way through the revolving door, you could see that we have this gigantic food court. And with all the little food stations right here, so this is where people will eat. And I use this sort of table, I like this table, and I like these chairs. And they make a nice like mall setting. So at first you have the Subway, the Papa John's, and the McDonald's. Now this of course is in a town with many buildings around it. So it's going to be quite small. Just always keep that in mind. It's going to be quite small when you're making it. So don't expect it to be entirely huge. Now, once we pass the food court, we have two shops right here. The Big Macy's, which actually takes up two stories. And we have the Sephora, which is right here. So let's go into the Sephora first. Uh, you can see that the Sephora, it's a pretty nice shop. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, uh, you can watch my first video where I made the Sephora. And yeah, now if we go through here, if I open this door right here, this is the huge Macy's. Now, the Macy's is actually two stories, so it will also go up to the second floor. You can see how big this Macy's is, it has a bunch of clothing right here, and if we go down, you can see that this is the center floor. It's not like the best door, I kind of rushed it. But I would say it's a pretty solid store, and I really like, like, the grand feel of it. So yeah, that is, like, the Macy's right there, so I'm gonna... So as it's currently approaching daytime, these are the elevators, which are quite expensive, $12,000 each, leading up to the second floor. The second floor is actually, the second floor is actually more spacious than the first floor. Same thing with the third floor, because the second floor and the third floor, they don't have like the eating area downstairs. You have like this little eating area that looks over the majestic view. Oh wow, that is a nice view. But yeah, they, they're not like as, they're, they're not like as spacious. So yeah, that, that is something to take note of. And lag is killing me. So the first floor is our Nike store. Uh, Nike store. You can see that we have a bunch of these multicolored shoes. They're nice. And we have a bunch of boxes right here. This is a simple store. I quite like this store. So yeah. Next door is this incredibly small white like room this is basically the advice room 
basically get advice from here and I really need to make that light not as bright but yeah this is basically that room and lastly we have the makeup salon the makeup salon on this floor is it's nice it's one of the bigger stores and you can see that it was originally my first design in the town but had to get moved because I wanted this mall to be here and of course you see the Macy's yeah, but we already took a look at the Macy's on the first floor. So we can just skip all the way up to the third floor. We can just skip all the way up to the third floor. The third floor is definitely, it's for the main foyer area, it's one of the nicer ones and it has the most diversity of shops. So let's go into the first one. The first one always right here is a Toys R Us. Now it's going out of business, which is why I put this sign right here. <laughs> but it is a nice Toys R Us otherwise. It gives me like a Disney feel, which I like. You see you have a nice area to sit and really enjoy the time out the window. I have this like little play window right outside here. You can see we have a bunch of like toy uh, things right over there. And we have our toy stock over here. Now these llamas cost like a thousand dollars each. I don't know why they do, but they do. Anyways, yeah, here is the toy store. The toy store is quite a nice store. Now... We're going into the cookie store. So if you haven't heard of Insomnia Cookies, it's, it's what I like. But like, I don't think there's a logo on here. So I put the cookie store and I kind of made it in that sort of dark mood. Dark white mood in a way. So you can see we have this right over here. And then we have all the proper kitchen utensils you'll need. Fryer to make donuts. Uh, oven. I mean, a microwave to heat things up. I don't know. An oven to like, uh, I, I have no idea. But we have a couple of cookies right here. So this is the nice bakery, the nice cookery store right here. Next is this store. <laughs> Next is the Apple store. Thing is, I wouldn't mo I wouldn't bother going in here because this in this small area there is four computers. These four computers will lag my phone till it's dead. So when we have perfect frame rate, let's look over here. So you see that we have this like nice clean modern room, which is what an Apple room looks like. And if we go inside and oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, yeah, you see we have all these iPads along here. We have our computers right here. I chose the cheap ones because I'm cheap myself, so yeah and then we also have all these boxes and i forgot to color one that that is a rip but yeah here is our nice apple store which you need to get out of before my phone dies and last but not least this is this is definitely one of my favorites uh this is the blockbuster show uh, blockbuster store now i i've never really i have never i have never been to a blockbuster actually before but yeah uh, this is the blockbuster uh, store you can buy these movies you see we have some anna and elsa over there we have some adventures we have some batman we have marvel uh what else do we have we have a bunch of random signs that literally mean nothing and yeah this is a nice room i also like this tv like to preview movies i don't know but this is a really nice one, and it's the thing that I was more used to, mainly because it looks like a normal living room with a bunch of bookshelves. So yeah. So yeah, that is the entirety of the third floor. The third floor actually I think is my favorite. Even this bench right here that shows the Blocksburg Mall. 
That is, that is definitely one of my favorites. And if you go up here, you can see that we have a really big eating area. Like, this is something that I could see in some cities, of like a, like a nice eating area on top of a structure, where like you would just sit and eat. I'm gonna zoom out right here. See, I'm on top of right here. And it is a pretty nice place. I didn't want this to be too repetitive with the grass and whatnot, like we did over there with my apartment. So I put like a bunch of stone, and it looks like a nice, uh, industrialized fact I don't know a, a nice industrialized patio so yeah that's why I, I, I kind of like this upstairs space Now, if we jump off down here, uh, you can see this is actually quite a nice shot. I mean, with just my thumbnail, actually. This would be a nice thumbnail. Anyways, this is how the mall looks at daytime. Daytime, the mall is quite majestic. And you can see it doesn't, like, tower over any buildings, but it, it, it makes a statement for sure. The things I don't really like about the mall is this. Uh, the hair salon kind of is basically out in the open. I didn't know what to do with this, so I just kind of let it be. We see we have some like advertisement posters, a pie like I don't know the Sephora and like the food court. You see we have up there we have all the different type of cookies at the cookie store. Even if we go over here, we have you can see some minimal windows over here. Like just do it. The Nike store right up behind there. This wall is completely blank. I just didn't know what to do with that. We have a Blockbuster logo up there. And you can see we have like some advertisements for the fashion store. So yeah, those are basically the whole entire exterior of it. It's a nice plain simple and of course they use concrete because concrete is great when you're making modern builds but you still want some detail. So yeah, that is all of the Blocksburg Mall. I really hope you enjoyed. So yeah guys, that is the end of the video for the tour of the Majestic, the, the, the Majestic, the huge Blocks. Berg Mall. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. This has been Jay Jossinus, and bye. Oh, and by the way, I changed my avatar. If you haven't noticed, my avatar is different. I, I, I like it.